All right, I started it in time. I really didn't mean to shoot a video just now, but I just did the update from uh, Microsoft uh, Update and uh, accepted the waiting optional, uh, you know, pack, service pack, whatever they're calling it these days. And afterwards, I just tried typing WSL Update because this uh, does, did not do anything before. But once I did that update, it now has uh, installed the Windows subsystem for Linux, something I thought I already had. Uh, but now apparently I really have it. So without a reboot, I'll see if I can do anything interesting here. So first I'll do WSL uh, shutdown in case I have any instances of this thing actually already running. Uh, now, a very interesting thing about what I'm about to test is the fact that I have uh, XVCSRV running right here. And this is what gives me graphics uh, for when I do, uh, for when I run uh, Linux graphics things. So let me do a sample of that. I'll go over here to another window. I'll fire up, uh, do, 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 do. I guess that would be, the container itself yeah we go into the LXD container because I know I install the whole Google Chrome on here so I should be able to just this will be a before and after so first I'll keep the XV CSRV uh, software running and I'll run Google Chrome like I normally would from a command line and mind you this is through a Linux container as well this is an extra level of awesome so, Google Chrome. It spits out a bunch of text here, and then the graphical, the Linux graphical version of Chrome comes up. There it is. It's a bit on the slow side, but you'll see it's actually logged in as me. This is a very unique way of doing it because I use the genuine Linux Chrome, and I. Uh, use my actual user data. This is logged in as one of my Gmail accounts so that uh, anything I do looks like exactly as if it were from uh, a genuine desktop version of Chrome. So that continues to work in the old way, but what we're gonna do now is quit out of XV, XRV, whatever, something, something. Exit. Exit. And we check there again. And I can see it's not running. There's no X server running now. And I have just done a WSL upgrade, uh, which did do something. It did us uh, counting up to 100% download. And it uh, didn't ask for me to reboot. So I'm testing this now. Google Chrome with on Windows 10 with no X server running. Drum roll, please. So if this doesn't work, there's one thing I can check because my um, display environment is being directed to a particular port, display port. Display environment port. So clearly it's not popping up, so I'll control C out of that. And I'll see how easy it is to undo this because it it wasn't easy to get it done in the first place so uh, I can vim my tilde forward slash uh, dot bash profile and this is what makes this stuff happen and we do not we do not export that uh, screen home directory no it's not screen that would do it this is not a screen thing. This is a display thing. There they are. These two here. Here. And uh, this, if you set up graphics, graphics, a spelling mistake I need to fix. And that, that should do it. Yeah, that should do it. Save, quit. Now if I exit, 
I'm actually going to be exiting out to WSL. See, that was the LXD container. This is WSL. So I'll exit again, and that gets rid of the terminal, even if it locks it up a bit. And then we just go back in, and this will now not have run the environment variable stuff to change the display port. And we will check once again Google Chrome. Once again, Windows 10, the recently upgraded WSL. OK, missing X server or display. It needs uh, that display being set. I wonder. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Hmm. X utils, X utils. So we're going to simplify this a bit. I'm going to exit up one level. I'm going to sudo apt update. Maybe it's going to require most recent Ubuntu. Now it is 18.04. When I exit that and it's still in Linux, I'm exiting from 20.04 to 18.04. It's a lower version that's actually hosting stuff. And uh, let's see, all packages are up to date. Excellent. So I will sudo apt install xutils. I believe it's xutils. And so this gets the uh, LXD package out of the picture because that was some real gymnastics I was doing there to uh, make that work. In fact, this one has that going on too. Uh, it was handing the baton down the trail. So this has an attempted uh, changing of the display port. So I'm going to bin dot bash uh, profile here as well. And I am going to edit out the equivalent here. You're like, didn't you just edit that out? Well, I did, but it was on the bash RC or the bash profile one level down. See, I'm one level up the native WSL version of Linux. All right, another try. Oh, oh yeah, now that I uh, installed uh, Xutils, I can try Xis instead of the whole Google Chrome. Uh, sudo apt install x11 x11 apps. Okay, and now we should be able to do XIs. <laughs> oh, because it was an environment and var variable, maybe I have to exit out of that, uh, go into it once more. Now to go into it cleanly without dropping into the container, I'm actually going to go from here. And from here I would go uh, yeah, I guess I can get into it directly. Oh, it automatically logs you and see. Oh, this is the 18.04. Yeah, this is good. No, it's the backslashes. It's the 18.04. Is it? 20.04? I don't need the PowerShell for sure. In utility forward slash bash uh, profile. Uh, this is a much bigger one, actually. You can see it's still not edited out of this one. So I actually did it to the host machine under 18.04. So there's really no avoiding it. You got to log in, which is going to log you into the uh, container, and you have to do one exit. And this is the location from which I am trying to do. Uh, X-Eyes. Hey, look, there's X-Eyes. It took me a little bit, but I have just tested graphics on Windows 10. It's uh, a little bit tricky. So anyone like me who is using uh, an X server before, either uh, VCX SRV, that's the name of that 
crazy hard to remember name or Ming you can now dump that if you go through that upgrade and here is native Linux graphics genuine native Linux graphics uh, under Windows 10 without the uh, the trick of the display port you know forwarding to an X server Doo -doo -doo. mission accomplished thank you that was a surprise video hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe uh, thumbs up the video uh, hit the bell I'm gonna try doing those live ones again uh, I've got some interesting updates coming this changes stuff uh, talk to you soon